Happy days. Welcome back, my fantastic friends. Right. Uh, thanks for your, all your input on the last world coin um, bag, hunt, whatever we call it. And we've got the bag again with the teddy bears on. Okay, so we've got some more. And like before, I, 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 I don't collect world coins as such. Um, if they're cheap enough or if there's nothing else to do, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look through them. But if, um, as a general rule of thumb, I don't usually collect world coins, but uh, it's each to their own isn't it okay so let's work on this one and again if you've got any info on any of these coins like before thank you for for your comments last time just let me know I'm pretty naive when it comes to identifying coins that I don't spend so this look at that that's a beautiful little um, what is it now Seos from Singapore that one I can tell that and it's 10 cent 1969 don't know the mintage obviously Nice light little coin. Let's put your CRC face on. There we go. Right, next up. Big coin. Big coin. RF. Five francs. 1946. I've got a reef there. I'm going to turn this right way. No, I'm not. I know I wouldn't do. Okay, so there we've got the Republic. Francais. Bit of text down there. What's that? Possibly the designer. Don't know. So if you've got any info on who this, uh, who this portrait is of, uh, let me know. Really light coin that. Really light. Possibly some aluminium sort of coin. Right. Now I do know some of this bit dark, isn't it? Uh, it's five pigeon. We've got the chickens and the hen there. The little chicks. One D. Um, from Ireland. There we go, 1928. Nice little harp. Is that a great year? I hope so. Let me know, folks. Let me know. Let me know. Right. Now this is going to be difficult to. <laughs> now we sit. It's a. Come on. Play with us. It's a little bit. Burnt. Got a lovely pattern on it. Got a rampant lion on there. It's really old. Has it been dug up? Is this a metal detecting find? I don't know. Let's see what it says on the other side. Now that says Belgique. Belgique. So it's got both pronunciations of Belgium. 1916 25 cent so the history behind this is quite unique isn't it this was minted and released in the heart of world war one could this have been lost somewhere only to be found again and you know dug up from a trench perhaps who knows the history behind these coins if they could speak they'd have bestseller books wouldn't they bestseller works of art right stop rambling on Dan let's get next one <laughs> right so we've got a shell first production line care so this is a token obviously 15 million produced between 1908 and 1827 so shells obviously the the petroleum group where you get your fuel okay there we go so we've got the Ford Model T 1911 so I'm assuming when you went for your petrol your gas whatever you call it your fuel for your car, your automobile, you uh, you paid for it, and then they give you one of these as uh, a little bit of a collector piece. Possibly had to collect them all. I'm thinking that way. It's a little token there. And again, I don't usually go out my way to collect tokens either. But um, if I get them, I get them. Okay, now this is a Bobby Dazzling of a coin. What we've got here: 18, 1987. 1407 right so mm, five whatever that is that's a lovely looking coin some, some text down here a little star up there turned it over the wrong way we've got a portrait of somebody and obviously somebody uh, some text there so again I don't know anything about this um, if you want to enlighten me please feel free to do so I will appreciate it do appreciate it okay next up what's this one ah right now that looks like a temple with some 
some oriental text on there. It's the brassy kind of coin. Now what's this? The year 2000, 10. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where it's from. I don't know what it's worth. I don't know. I do like the colour. Okay. <laughs> I'm useless, aren't I? I'm useless. Right. What's this one going to be? Another one that looks like it's in better days. It's a, I think I can make that out as five centavos. And does that say flipping? Or Philippine? I'm not sure. I don't know. Don't know these things. What's that? I can't tell. It's too grimy. Oh, it's seen better days. But very interesting. Will we get through the old bag? I don't know. We've got some small coins coming up. Right, so this one. Seen this before. Five centavos. And it's from Brazil. I've seen this on um, either Christopher Collects channel or, or Laughters. They do they they do fantastic world coin hunts. And I take my hat off to them for all the info that they, they provide. Because researching all this lot is not my forte and does take a fair bit of time. I only just know about about circulating British coins, so right, so got a few more. Last turn, last two, we'll, we'll do two more. Okay, so this little tiny one, um, Republic of Philippines. 1986 got somebody's name there possibly the name of the portrait five centimo a lovely little flower I can't read what that says I can't read what that says tiny little kind of really super tiny and last one we'll pick out right we've got a <laughs> thought it was a token at first it's not it's a squarey kind of coin five pas that i think that's how you pronounce it 1961 it says down at the bottom that's a it's a nice boat it's a lovely boat in fact some arabic writing so it could be a coin like that now there we go so let's focus it in so does that translate to government of Pakistan what a cracking coin yeah so folks if you've got any info on any of these coins please let me know because I am like I said a, a little bit out of shape when it comes to world coins we'll do another one of these do a few more left in bag and until next time take care of the Sen stay safe happy days <laughs>